When I went to elementary school, I read on the bus a whole lot. We were bused a long ways away. This was before integration. So I read on the bus and I enjoyed those stories quite a bit. As you know, in reading, you could go many places. You could travel. So I enjoyed that aspect of reading. And then parent, my parents nurturing that, helping me with particular books that I wanted to buy when I was a teenager, you know, money that uh, I would earn in the tobacco fields, I would put towards that. And then, of course, they would help. And, but beyond that, they had encyclopedias in the house <laughs> when I was growing up. And, but what I like about poetry is the music of it and the specificity and the conciseness of the language and, and how it takes leaps. Wow, feels good out here. We're going on a ginkgo, which is a haiku walk, and I hope to write some haiku on this ginkgo, and I think I will. That's musical. I could even get a haiku out of this, music. And then later, when I went in the Army, I was writing poetry to my girlfriend, who is my wife and has been for a long time. Next year, we'll ce celebrate our 30th anniversary. But I was writing poems to her. And so I tried to write my letters in a poetic form. I hope the art of le letter writing doesn't become lost. Uh, that's something, a letter, you can always pull out and read la later. So. I hope it continues. Words, language, you know? So I love jazz. It's, it's, it's such a calming uh, musical experience for me. And it's also so inspiring. I just love jazz. So <laughs> many times I'm led to write by simply listening to jazz. Swinging cool, the basses hugs the bass, plunks it. Ting boom, ting boom, the drummer beats and booms, saxophonist weaves notes, oscillates, blows, and the piano, finger pianist finger dances on the keys, swinging at the haven, musicians spark, the sheet music stands and angled microphones, blue backdrop, modulating that tempo. They work the tune, drumsticks knocking time, piano plucking our ears, bass man still hugging the bass, straight sets, walls thrumming, steady as a spring moon, inciting the indigo of sky. That's that poem. I think teaching and mentoring is really important because you're giving back uh, to the generations behind you, and that's so important. But the thing about it, I don't want them to write like me. I want them to become themselves, and I just want them to have the tools to enhance their craft. There is only a slight light in the thin woods. I come upon a creek near a tin roof house, and there is no one anywhere to witness my presence. So a poem for me is this living body of language that speaks to whomever listens. Who lends an ear? Who might want the poem to knock on his or her door? But you must be willing to answer, and then the poem could do the rest. That's what poetry is. To find harmony within the natural world and just trying to exists, find meaning, enjoy, live, appreciate, love, be, all of these things. 